floods, droughts and fires will occur more frequently due to climate change, said climatologist and Nobel laureate Alexei Kakorin. This week, he and several hundred other experts, including representatives from the EU and the World Bank, gathered in Almaty to take part in the Central Asia Climate Change Conference. Besides discussing extreme weather events, participants looked for ways to solve the region's water issues. Darina Sagulov visited the conference to find out who will pay for impacts of climate change. According to the World Meteorological Organization, the number of weather-related disasters has increased fivefold over the past 50 years. Economic and industrial growth, population increase are all anthropogenic factors influencing climate change. Central Asia is a rapidly developing region, is already experiencing significant consequences. A series of droughts, fires and floods confirm this, according to the global experts who arrived this week in Kazakhstan. The main topics of discussion at the sixth annual conference included water, energy, food security, and the impacts of climate change, which all countries in the region will face regardless of borders. According to climatologist and Nobel Peace Prize laureate Alexei Kokorin, extreme events that occurred once every 30 years in Kazakhstan can become more frequent, including floods. We have around the globe and in Kazakhstan more frequent heat wave. We have more frequent floods. The area is typical for floods in the north or more frequent droughts in other areas. So prognosis is that three times more frequent uh, heat waves is guaranteed, unfortunately, due to inertia, due to inertia of climate system. Uh, 1.5 increase in uh, frequency of droughts and floods is also guaranteed, but. Ten times increase in frequency of heat certainly can be prevented by carbon neutrality of whole globe. According to the expert, the only way to mitigate the consequences is adaptation, achieving carbon neutrality and mutual assistance between countries in the fight against climate change. Kazakhstan has committed to reducing emissions and achieving carbon neutrality by 2060. Climate change is evident. We all see and observe this. As a country, we need to raise these issues. Our colleagues from Central Asian countries who are also interested participated in this conference. Each country is doing tremendous work. Notably, our country is a leader in Central Asia in terms of system improvements. We are following the European experience, have an emissions control system and have committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Water security and resource provision are relevant topics for Kazakhstan. Located in the lower reaches of transboundary river basins, the sustainable development of Kazakhstan's economy depends on joint water policies with neighboring countries. The European Union is currently developing a water management strategy for Central Asia with support from various entities. While exact figures for investment projects are not yet available, it could reach several hundred million euros, stated Johannes Bauer, head of the cooperation and the EU delegation to Kazakhstan. Yes, our program now uh, will focus on improving the river basin dialogue between for example, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, uh, Uzbekistan, uh, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, uh, which is um, important uh, uh, to improve regional water cooperation. And this will be a very important step. We want to strengthen uh, uh, and work closely together with the Regional Organization on Water, IFAS, uh, the Fund uh, for Saving the RLC. We will focus on the work in the Amodaya Basin, uh, but we will also work with the Kazakh Ministry uh, for Water Resources to, uh, to give advice on uh, legislation. According to the Eurasian Development Bank, Central Asian countries spent over $200 million on subsidies for the purchase of irrigation equipment. The World Bank will help increase investments in this sector, said Tatiana Proskuryakova the World Bank's regional director for Central Asia. She noted that water scarcity in Central Asia is a major focus of their agenda. In Kazakhstan, we are financing a project to re 
rehabilitate the northern Aral Sea area, and we are currently negotiating to start the second phase of this project. In general, we have significant investments in irrigation, access to clean water, and the introduction of water-saving technologies in agriculture across Central Asia. Our portfolio in Central Asia amounts to $13 billion with 88 projects. Of course, this includes not only water, but also a range of sectors. Global challenges require a proportionate global response. The current conference gathered over 400 experts and representatives of international organizations to discuss and find solutions to the region's most complex problems. The dialogue will continue on the Regional Climate Summit in 2026, which was announced by the President of Kazakhstan last year. Daurian Sagulov, Yerik Kirimkulov, New Time.